I'm playing my favorite song. And my glam team wants to promote these lashes. They make me promote everything. I can't even do my thing. They interrupt me all the time. It's like everything changes when you get older. It's insane. Like, for example, the other day I went to The Gap uh, to buy a t-shirt, and the girl behind the counter was like freaking 12 years old, I swear to God. She looks at me and she goes, oh my God, I just love you. I just love your alligator scarf. I'm like, it's not a scarf, it's my neck. That's but if you I are not satisfied with her, you shall let her go free and not sell her for money. You must not treat her as a slave since you have dishonored her. This is three choices you gave us, okay? But you never gave us the answer. Is this a reading from the Bible, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verses 10 to 14? B, the plot of a romantic comedy starring Matthew McConaughey? <laughs> or the season art for the new reality series, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? <laughs> the correct answer? Yes, please. Is A. That is a direct quote from Deuteronomy. Wait, no. Yeah. I mean, I thought the language was a little non-Steve Scroven. I was like, oh, wow. He knows some big words, some old, like, Shakespearean words. But no, it was, yeah. I thought, I honestly thought it was the season art for the new reality series, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I totally thought it was that. I was convinced. Yeah. You would have done badly on your SATs. And, you know, start oh. off kind of wailing, crying, <laughs> howling to the moon, looking at the stars, writhing on the ground, nude, covered in syrup, and then once again, trip to the hot tub. I love it. That sounds like foreplay with my Farsi man. Oh, I'm sure those men, they get wild in the deserts of Farsi land. Uh, they do, yeah. Well, actually, in my case, it would be Graceland. But they do. They, they'd like to conquer. <laughs> he has an annual pass to Graceland, I imagine. Uh, yes, he, he paid good money for it. <laughs>